Hello, it's Hydro. I watched a video some days ago where a state trooper falsely put his ex-girlfriend who he dated for four months in a site war for 72 hours. That's a really long time to be falsely put in a site war. I don't know how the police took that long to figure out that she shouldn't be in there for that long. How did they take that long? I don't know. When I watched a video of the interaction between the officer and the woman, he, I saw that he was restraining her. From what I remember, he had his knee on her. She was telling him to get off her. He was making it seem like she was crazy. He was threatening her in messages from what I remember. He made it seem like she was suicidal, although she wasn't suicidal. It's crazy because he only dated her for four months. I don't know why he cared all that much about her. You know what's crazy about this situation? He has a wife and a child. From what I remember, it's crazy. I think his wife and him separated, but they were still married. That's my guess. But it's a bad situation. I don't know why he did it. The reason why he may have done it is because he wants to be in control. He feels as if he's the authority. He knows that he's an officer. He knows that he's a state trooper. So he was thinking to himself, oh yeah, I'm going to use my authority over her. That's what he did. He over, he abused his authority. He was restraining her. He had her put against a car. He was standing behind her. Like he was really close to her. Like he was standing by her butt. Some people may look at like he was groping her. Maybe he didn't intentionally, you know, do it in a way where he's trying to grope her when you watch the video. But he was really close behind her. Like he had his body on her. It was just crazy. You know who was recording? His female friend. A woman was recording this. Letting it all happen. You wanna know how long it took for the police to arrive and they kept doing this? I think from what I remember, it was 16 minutes. The person recording this let this happen for 16 minutes. Didn't do anything. Maybe they were the officer's friend. They probably thought, oh, this man's an officer. This woman's crazy. I need to help him stop her. Yes, he tried to get off him, but he just wouldn't let her go. He called the police on her. I think they were in the woods somewhere. I forgot. I think it was somewhere in the woods. The police came, took her to a side ward. They found out that she didn't need to be there. She got released from the site ward. The state trooper got arrested. He's in jail without a bond. I'm glad that he doesn't have a bond. I'm glad that the judge said, I'm not giving you a bond. It's good. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know why he did it. Hopefully, he wasn't trying to grope her when he put his body behind her when she was against the car. Because you could argue that sexual assault. So it's like, not only did he basically kidnap her, give misinformation, lie to the police, he also sexually assaulted a woman on camera. In front of the woman who's recording. Maybe she didn't look at it like that. Maybe she was just looking like, oh, he's just really restraining her. And he's really behind her so he can make sure that she doesn't get away. But he's bigger than her, much bigger than the woman who he's against. So, of course, she's not going to be able to get away from him. Yeah, guys, I just want to give my thoughts about this situation. I'm glad that the officer is in jail. This is a bad situation. 
Like I said, I don't know why he did it. The reason for why he did it, it doesn't matter. He shouldn't have done it. I just wanted to get my thoughts about this situation. I'm out.